And welcome back, everyone. Well, just want to first say welcome to all the new subscribers who have joined this channel. And uh, like I say, I hope everybody is enjoying what we've been putting out all uh, Christmas season here between the cookies and uh, stuff like that. And if you're new to the video, you know, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have um, a lot of cooking ones coming up in January. We have Valentine's in uh, February. Uh, March, St. Patrick's Day, and you know, all the way into the summer gardening season and everything. So, like I say, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you know, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. But anyways, um, today's video, um, I won't say like where I went or whatever, but I went and I got a coffee, a holiday, holiday coffee, and it was supposed to be of a, of a like a sugar cookie or butter cookie or something like that. And it really wasn't. It was like real strong. It was, you know, really like no flavor. It was just a, it was just a plain coffee, plain uh, regular coffee. So that inspired me um, for this video. Like I said, this is going to be a short video, but it inspired me to, you know, come back and try something that like I could do at home here and maybe make at home and put in the refrigerator and I could have it like whenever I wanted to. So we came up with this recipe and um, gonna kind of like run through it with everybody and let you know what it all is. But this is like my version of a you know sugar cookie recipe. So we started off uh, with a saucepan and I got our little little saucepan like this, um, this size. And then here we had one cup of water, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a cup of sugar, four teaspoons of vanilla and a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract. Now, they say to use like a butter flavoring, um, you know, along with the vanilla and the extract, but I couldn't really find that, um, like that butter flavor as they say. So I ended up just ramping up the uh, vanilla extract in here and that kind of took the place of the butter butteriness with the almond extract. Now the almond extract, you can, I have a fourth of a teaspoon in that one too. You can add a little more if you like the taste of almond, but for me, the fourth of a teaspoon is um, just enough, you know, just enough of a hit to um, give you that butter, you know, butter cookie taste. So what I did was, is I put the one cup of water, all the sugar, the vanilla and the almond into my saucepan here. Let, turned it on high and I let it come up to a boil. Once it started to boil, I left it on high and I let it go for about 10 minutes. Let it, all of that come together, let it all boil together and everything. And what you do is, is you turn it off and what you're left with, I know it would be kind of hard to see, but I'll take a picture of it. But you're left with a really, um, like a nice, tan color uh, syrup here. You're gonna let this cool down and when this completely cools, it'll thicken up a little more. You put it into a container, an air, like an airtight container, probably something with like a lid on it or something like that, a bottle with a you know screw top, whatever. But then you're gonna use this in your, in your coffee and that's kind of what I've got here. I brewed just um, regular coffee that um, I like. And I ended up putting about, oh, I don't know, if you were to probably measure this out, probably about, probably about eight teaspoons or so, something like that. And this is uh, the warm one, but you could also do this over ice. You could probably um, put, you know, the ice in here, brew your coffee with the syrup, and then put uh, whipped cream, maybe some sprinkles on it or something. But you add just enough of the syrup to your taste. You know, if you like it, like I say, heavier, then add some more. If you don't like it all that strong, you just add a little less. But I'm gonna try it here. Now this tastes like a sugar cookie. You have, the coffee's like not so like punchy in the face strong, but neither is the, the sugar cookie flavor here. You get, you get that taste of the brown sugar, you get that taste of the vanilla, and just a hint of the almond extract. 
And like I say, when you're when you're tasting it, it actually tastes like a sugar cookie. And because that's because of all the sugar and the brown sugar in there and everything. But like I say, that is a real simple, um, real simple recipe. I don't know if I said that, but when you, when you, when it starts to boil, you boil it for about 10 minutes, then turn it off and let it cool. And it'll hold in a bottle, air, airtight bottle for about uh, two weeks in your refrigerator. But like I say, if you're looking for like a really um, good syrup to add to your coffee as a Christmas flavor one, holiday flavor, this is the one to try. <laughs> and now it's got me thinking that uh, as we're going into like New Year's and all that and all the other ones coming up here, I might just try to end up making something for like um, like the middle of January, like a, like a cold brew one, you know, cold weather brew one. Um, we might also try like something for St. Patrick's Day, maybe like, uh, I don't know, like a... A red velvet one or something like that uh irish one for uh saint patrick's day or valentine's day all that kind of stuff so so this is gonna be interesting to try and something different to try so like i say if you enjoy these videos you know please give them a thumbs up and again if you're new to the channel you know what to do hit that subscribe button and until our next video which i believe we have two more coming out the rest of this week um we have our rum snickerdoodle cookies and we also have those german honey cookie ones that are coming out so make sure you watch for that and then like i say we'll probably be taking a couple days off after the holiday and then we're going to be right back into it with doing some more things so until next time everyone take care stay safe we'll see you later guys bye